A week in Italy filmed on the Sony Xperia Pro I. First, we photograph a wedding that gets published in People magazine. Second, we make short film. Then we visit this crazy medieval castle city. Then on to Rome for a photography conference where we bring maple syrup for all 300 attendees. We take pictures with Magic, a Sony Europe ambassador, Rebecca Carpenter, and Sam Hurd. Then Lindsay meets his dog, and it rains for a while. Really ending on a high note there. First, I want to say thank you so much to Sony Xperia for sponsoring this video. I have wanted to use the Sony Xperia Pro I for quite some time now. I'm going to say that it is camera first, but also your phone. And there is a lot to love in here as a photographer and video creator. First up, you have a 1.0 type sensor, which means you're going to get incredible image quality. And that sensor is behind a 24 millimeter Zeiss lens. Second thing to love, there is a 16 millimeter and 50 millimeter dedicated lens within here as well. Third, a micro SD card slot. So if you want to just load it right into your computer, it's very, very easy to do that. And then fourth, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I'm not going to go into all the video specs here, but it goes far beyond what you could ever expect. There is a link in the description if you want to learn a little bit more. By the way, this in-studio segment is being filmed on the Sony Alpha 7 R4 and the 35 millimeter F1.4 G Master. Now on to, well, we have one stop before we get to Italy. Let's, uh, let's head there. Good morning from the Sony Xperia Pro I. As you can see, very beautiful shallot up the field on this 24 millimeter Zeiss lens. And uh, we've got a bit of a week for you. Today, we're starting off in Canada at a bit of an unusual circumstance. I am actually in a wedding rather than photographing a wedding. How do you guys feel about Sony products? Oh, uh, they're honestly, I'm a ship captain and all the products on my boat are Sony products, even the sails. The shallow depth of field of the Sony Xperia Pro I 24mm Zeiss lens can create a very pleasing out of focus background. I know this is just a coffee cup, but doesn't it doesn't it look nice? Okay, we'll find we'll find something a little more exciting to film. Also, to give a little bit of a breakdown on how I'm going to be using the Sony Xperia Pro I over the next week, there are two apps, there's I guess more, but there's two main apps for video, Video Pro and Cinema Pro. Video Pro is what I'm going to be using. It automates a few things, makes run and gun style coverage a little bit easier. Whereas Cinema Pro unlocks a lot more settings. I'm also using the rear microphone that I'm speaking into right now. This is just the onboard microphone. How are you feeling today on your wedding day? Feel pretty good, feel pretty good. I'm going to get my hair cut and then I'll feel pretty better. Today is Yashka's wedding day. He's a graphic designer and he made these logos. And now he's going to get a haircut. I'm gonna film a little bit of it. Is it the haircut? It was the haircut. Now, on to Italy. We almost did not make it to Italy today. Our connection, almost, we were connecting in Germany and we almost, we almost ended up in Germany rather than Italy. And uh, they actually picked us up on this bus and drove us straight to the gate. So shout out to the airline for making this intro uh, a little bit more cinematic. Us running through the airport, not really that exciting. Us driving cinematically around an airport in morning golden hour, Honestly looks pretty nice. They also gave me this seat to score another easy layup shop. We saw some mountains and some grass, then some water. And now we're in Positano. Well, not yet, Sorrento. Soon Positano. Here we are in beautiful Positano, Italy. Look at that. That's a photo right there, isn't it? I'll take that one later. We're in Positano, Italy for two reasons. One is to make short film that I can't tell you the name of yet because this video comes out before the short film, but I promise it's gonna be, you're, you're gonna like it, I hope. And second, to photograph the wedding of the yellow Power Ranger, Serena Vincent, and this wedding eventually ends up in People Magazine, which is really, really cool. There will be a full dedicated video of this day coming, so if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell on, you'll see it pop up in a couple of days. Here we are. We've just parked and now we get to climb the mountain to the, to the castle and the sky. And it is here we met up with Magic, who is a Sony Europe ambassador. And then he took some great high frame rate landscape photos with his Sony Alpha 7 IV. And I think that he, I think he got the moment, I think so. And then it was off to Rome, a city that you might've heard of before, I'm not sure. And my wife, Lindsay joined us. It was at this time that we began the hardest mission of the entire trip. Focal, a company that I'm part owner of, sponsored way up north this year, a photography conference. And they asked us to give something to be put in the gift bags of all 300 people that were attending. I don't know what the total weight of this bag was, but it was definitely the densest bag. It was just literally full of maple syrup but we got them, we got them to the conference. 
To talk briefly about the Sony Xperia Pro I for a moment, uh, you have full manual controls just like any Sony Alpha camera, which means it is very easy to get the exact look that you're after. So if you want to shoot video with the Sony Venice look, no problem. If you want to shoot raw photos and use your own preset afterwards, you can do that as well. All the photos you're going to be seeing within this video are all shot in raw and processed with my own preset. And as a professional photographer, I think that this is an incredible thing because it helps you maintain that brand consistency, whether you're shooting with your phone or you're shooting with your professional Sony mirrorless camera. The Sony Xperia Pro I opens with a fingerprint reader on the side here, which is honestly very nice for content creation in the field. There's also a button on the top that is dedicated just for, essentially it's your shutter button. And it is exactly where you would expect a shutter button to be. Start stops your videos, or you can just summon the camera when the phone is off and you can just hold it down and you'll just launch into photo mode. But now, Back to pasta. We had dinner with some friends at a pick time pasta party. And then the next morning at 5 a.m. woke up for a sunrise shoot with Rebecca Carpenter. It was early, very early, but that's when the nice light is. And if you've ever been to a spot that's as busy as Rome, if you wake up early in the morning, you can do that golden hour shoot, make it look like sunset, but there will be absolutely no people around. Full video of this shoot also coming up soon on the channel. So again, subscribe. And then it was time for day one of Way Up North. Uh, Way Up North is a conference. I spoke at the last one in Copenhagen. I was not supposed to be at this one. And fortunately, a lot of things randomly connected and we were able to go. I wanna say thank you to the team for putting all 300 of our maple syrups into these bags. Really, really appreciate it. And then it was time for Magic to host the conference. Um, you may remember Magic from the high frame rate landscape photography earlier in the video. Lachlan said some words about Focal. And then the next morning, kind of a repeat of the first morning, we began with a sunrise shoot with Rebecca Carpenter. This time she was taking pictures of Lindsay, my wife and I. So that was a little different. And then she said some words to a lot of people. And then Sam heard Lindsay and myself hung out on our balcony. Then it was off to the Imagine dinner where Sam got very artistic with his presentation. We're out here waiting for the six photographer challenge. All six <laughs> photographers are getting ready in here. That was a beautiful challenge. I wow. used the best Sony lenses, 50G Master f1.2 and a 24G Master f1.4, which is amazing. And I also used Sony a7 IV, which is the greatest camera of all times. After that, Magic and I got very lost on the way to the way up north rap party. We're out here trying to get to the wooden banana party and uh, we've lost most of our party. It is uh, just Magic and myself, Sony Europe ambassador. A lot of Sony cameras here. And once we got there, everything was very calm and normal. There were certainly no bananas. And after seeing so many bananas, we decided to flee Rome and head to Venice. But unfortunately, it was raining. If you ever come to Venice, wake up early and take the water bus to the nearby islands. They are quite nice, even in the rain. By 10 a.m., there will be hundreds, even thousands of people here. But at 7 a.m., you have the place pretty much entirely to yourself which again, it's really cool if you wanna be taking photos or videos with limited people. I feel like that just, it starts to look messy with tourists and it's just better to wake up early. It's always hard, but it always ends up being entirely worth it. And today was no exception. It was then time to wave goodbye to Focal, Lachlan and Aaron. And Lindsay and I headed to Florence for a night before flying home. We've arrived in the city of Florence. The same rules apply here. Wake up early, go, go do the photos. Your future self will thank you. We usually do our best to stay as close as possible to the photo locations we wanna go in the morning so you have less excuses to back out. It's also usually a little bit more expensive to stay near those locations. So you're also financially a little bit more committed to actually going out and doing it. And uh, maybe a bonus tip in here, if you are interested in selling your images from travel, one thing that I've discovered is that it is the easiest to sell prints from places that people have gone, which means that yes, we've been to Antarctica, that's awesome and great, but no one is really gonna connect with those images. Whereas a lot of people have been to Florence and maybe it's the favorite city that they've ever visited. And when they see that you have a print for sale and it's a beautiful compilation of their memory of what they thought that they saw, even though they probably didn't wake up as early as you, and you're able to transport them back to that vacation, that memory, there is much more of a chance that somebody's actually going to spend money and put your artwork up on their wall um, because it is maybe not their exact memory, but it's a pretty close memory in the same spot, maybe by a photographer or an artist that, that they respect and admire. Maybe they know a little bit about your story and that they want you to succeed in, in the world. That's maybe a topic for a larger video. But yes, we were in, in Florence and then we went home and now I'm here in our studio just outside of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 
I want to thank you again to Sony Xperia for sending us out there with this device. I had a lot of fun with it. The specs and the, I guess the, the, the physical nature of it reminded me a lot of the Sony RX100 series, which is my favorite series of point and shoots ever to exist. It takes a lot of the good stuff from there and puts it into here. And you get something, maybe this is out of scope of this video, but one of the things that I've always wanted, say I'm out there, I'm shooting this Sony Alpha 7R4 and I want to upload an image to Instagram. I have to send that to my phone and then I have to put that out there into the world. Now you can just do it all from one spot, which I think really is going to be the future of photography. And it really was a great experience to use this tiny device that is just so powerful. You want to do 4K 120p? No problem. I can do that for you. If you are a content creator that is looking to have an incredible camera with you all of the time, I highly suggest that you check this out. There is a link in the description for you to learn a little bit more if you want to learn more about this Sony Xperia Pro-I. That's all for me, Taylor Jackson. See you again next time.